Today's word with Apostle Dr. S.M. Chirisa. Shall we go into the word of God today? I'm going to be preaching on, um, and teaching rather, on an important subject that has been abused in the body of Christ, especially in the Pentecostal, but we still need to move it, uh, to use it so that things move. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that now you teach your people, you teach us your word by your spirit. Holy Spirit, take over in the name of Jesus. Speak through my lips, think through my mind, reveal light of this mystery that will cause us to move and to become better in every way. I pray that miracles, signs, and wonders will follow this word uh, preached in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody says, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the year of the hundredfold. Uh, I don't know how your year has been going so far. We have experienced lots of miracles to this day. And we can't wait for the second half of the year because things don't get uh, 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 duller in the kingdom of God. Things get brighter. The Bible says the light of the righteous gets brighter and brighter. Amen. So that's what we are expecting. That's what we are expecting. Today I'm going to be speaking to you uh, on a subject on the anointing. The anointing. Hallelujah. The anointing. And I think it's important uh, for us to have a clear understanding of the anointing. It's going to have a lot of scripture reading so that we can have balance in this. In the years past, we have seen people selling anointing oil in bottles with pictures or, and all those kind of things. Now, I want you to know something. Is that just because something was abused or misused does not make it wrong. Do you know that your kitchen knife can be a murder weapon? Hello? The knife that you use to cut meat every night can become a murder weapon. And somebody will go to life and they hang because of it. But it does not make the kitchen knife so you don't say I'm now going to remove all kitchen knives from my kitchen because somebody next door murdered a person with a kitchen knife. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I'm going to bring this teaching so that we can have, we can have understanding. In this house, we do not sell anointing. We do not do uh, 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 we don't do calendars with our face on it we don't do uh, stickers I've got not, there's nothing wrong with those but the fact that they have been abused so we would rather sort of like stay away from them but if somebody has them fine, are you hearing what I'm saying but you also need then to understand so for example, I've got a bottle of anointing oil this is anointing oil that we bought it's clover, our uh, olive pride oil that we bought in spa probably. Okay? So this is, this is olive oil. So I want you to know something. That this oil on its own does not have any power. You can actually use it for cooking your eggs and fry your chicken. Are you getting what I'm saying? All right? But when we come to a church setting or to a spiritual setting, we can use oil for spiritual things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hello? Am I talking to somebody? For example, water baptism. There are some people that have been baptized that were not born again. And they still need to repent even though they were baptized. But water baptism is still important. And for some people here, we are going to water baptize you not in winter, Tungu Miro to winter. It is a Ipere. Hallelujah. Amen. So after winter, when it is now hot, we are going to baptize you. The deacons are going to baptize you in water because Jesus said you must go there baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son. So we do that. There are certain things that have got spiritual meanings and they've got spiritual significance. 
I, I, am I talking? So, in the Bible, the olive oil is, has got a significance where it is, it's physical. It's physical. This is physical. Uh, okay? And it's an emblem. It means it represents. It is not. But it represents a release of God's power. So, when you say, we want to anoint you with oil, it's not the oil that is doing the work. But it is helping you understand there's something about the human nature and the human brain. The human brain wants to see things. That's why Jesus said, blessed is the one who believes yet he has not seen. Because normally we want to see, we want something physical. We want something physical. That's why when you go to other religions, they'll give you things. They are sort of like to help you believe. And, 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 and let's face it, most of us, we believe, if I give you a cloth, you believe more in the cloth. Are you getting what I'm saying? But, but, but the power is not in the cloth. Even in the devil world, the power is not in those red clothes. It is empowered by demonic powers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But those things or are emblems are representatives or those uh, those sticks, they, are, they represent and it's easier for you to picture and to believe. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, why olive oil? Uh, because God chose it. And why did God uh, chose it? God chose it in his own wisdom. And who am I to ask him why? Why not uh, 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 groundnut oil? Why not sunflower oil? I don't know and I don't care. Because all I want is to have something that works in my life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay. Is this making sense so far? So, it comes from an olive tree and the word anointed means to, to smear or to rub and we're going to see a lot of things that is in it. And so the, 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 the purpose of the anointing well is, is, mis, is it's a mystery in the kingdom that you can use for your spiritual advancement. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But we are now scared of it because of the abuses that have happened. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, Let's go into the word of God. Let's go to Isaiah 61 verse 1. Let's move quickly. Isaiah 51. So I want you to know something about the anointing. The anointing is the spirit of God moving in or on a person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when you say I am anointed, you are talking about the spirit of God. The song that we are singing. That was a good song. Thank you so much. Loved it. Because it then helps us to understand what I'm teaching here. Can you put it up quick, quickly, please? Isaiah 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. What is upon me? The Spirit of the Lord. Because the Lord has anointed me. So there is no anointing without the spirit are you hearing what i'm saying and i want to tell you something the devil can also anoint so whenever somebody is anointed it means that there is a spiritual element there are you hearing what i'm saying so all those nangas and all those they are also anointed sekuru ningining is also she anointed but he's not anointed by the spirit of the Lord. He's anointed by the spirit of the devil. You hear me what I'm saying? But whenever you, there is an anointing, the spirit is involved. So the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has appointed, he has anointed me. And I want you to see something. When an anointing comes, it does not just come so that you just feel anointed. I'm just anointed. It comes with a specific purpose. The Spirit ever has anointed me to preach. So number one, it is to preach good, good tidings to the poor. The word good tidings means good news to the poor, 
Number one, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive, and to open prisons to those that are bound, which means you cannot deliver people from poverty until there's an anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying, somebody? So when you come to a place like this and you are poor, you when there's an anointing, the anointing will pull you up from poverty and people will get shocked and, and you even yourself will get shocked and, and wonder what is happening. It is the work of the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? To heal the broken hearted. So some people will come here angry, not talking to certain people, but you come to a place like this and the anointing will move on your heart, it will heal you. Your heart gets healed. You forgive people, you move on with your life, you forget as if nothing has ever happened. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is the purpose of the what? Of the anointing. To proclaim liberty to the captive. You might have been captive, captive, being captive by all kinds of things, demonic yokes and all those kind of things and open prison doors to those that are bound which means there are people that are bound whenever you see a demon living there is a work of the anointing because you can only release people from prison by the what by the anointing but i want you to know that the word anointing it signifies the presence and the working of the holy spirit or of something which is spiritual are we clear so you don't just get anointed for nothing. You get anointed for a specific thing and for a specific purpose. Let's go to Acts 10, verse 38. Acts 10, verse 38. As you can see, the kind of teaching that I'm now doing, these are what we call apostolic teachings where we establish doctrine in the church and put order in the church. So that, because I know that we are coming from all kinds of, of chaoses and all kinds of, of, of exposures, but when you come in the house like this, we have to put, we have to lay, lay things uh, precept upon precept. That's why uh, last week we were talking about giving, how to give properly. Now we are talking about how you don't have to miss things on the anointing because of wrong use and wrong messages. How God anointed, how God what? Anointed who? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. With what? The Holy Spirit. Whenever there is the anointing, there is a spirit. And in this, in our world, when we say uh, somebody is anointed, we are talking about the function of the Holy Spirit. In the world of demons, you can be anointed by all kinds of demonic spirits. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is no spirit in the spirit of demons that is equivalent to the spirit of, of God. The spirit of God can be, it's omniscient, omnipotent. There is no demon, even Satan cannot be at all places. That's why he has to roam around the world. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are with the Holy Spirit and with power and he went about doing good. Healing all that we were sick, that we were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Acts 1 verse 8. Acts 1 verse 8. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, and you shall be my witnesses to me in Jerusalem, to all Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the earth. Which means that here Jesus was talking about the anointing. Well, that when the anointing comes upon you, you'll be able to witness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So one thing that you need to know is that whenever the spirit comes, there is an anointing. And an anointing comes to do a specific thing, a specific task, and it helps you to accomplish that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So let's go into the word of God. We want to see when people were anointed. So number one, when people were anointed, the anointing, it marks people. It marks people. It marks people for a kingdom purpose for a kingdom agenda or to serve in the house. In the Old Testament, there were three people that were anointed. Number one, there were people that were anointed. It was either you were a king, you were a priest, or you were a prophet. But in this new covenant, we are all anointed. Because we have all received the what? The Holy Spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So 1 John uh, 2 verse 27. 
First John 2, verse 27. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you. And you do not need that anyone teach you, but, at the, but the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and is true and is not a lie. And just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. So I want you to know that the, when you receive Jesus Christ, receive the Holy Spirit, you are, you are anointed. The problem is that you don't know. And whatever you don't know, you are as good as a person who has not received. If, 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 if I deposit one million in your Kebs account and I don't tell you, you continue to move and say, I don't have money and suffer and beg and sleep outside because you don't know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say, I am anointed. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. So what we need is, so you're asking, how come my life doesn't seem as if I'm anointed? It's because you don't know that you're anointed. And you do not know how to activate the anointing in your life. But if you have received Jesus, received the Holy Ghost, you, you've got the anointing. There is something that only you can do. Are you hearing one? There is something that you have, been, you, have been, you, you have been anointed to do and to do so well. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So let's go to Levit Levit Leviticus 8 verse 12. Leviticus 8, verse 12. We're going to move quickly. So, this is, this is God speaking to Moses and say, I want you to pour, uh, and, you, and, and it says, and he poured some anointing oil. Some anointing what? Oil on the head of Aaron and anointed him to consecrate him. So, we know that Aaron was the first priest. Okay? But for him to do that work, he needed to be what? Anointed. So the anointing will, will mark individual, consecrate individuals, and give them an ability. A am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. 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 Let's go again to First Samuel 16, verse 3. We know Samuel. We have read the book of Samuel. Did we? We read the book of Samuel, and, 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 and in the book of Samuel, Samuel goes to anoint uh, after God rejected Saul. So God can anoint you, and if you disobey, God can depart. And there are a lot of people where God has departed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And God will go to a new move, to a new person. So he said, go to this one who is after my own heart in the house of Jesse. But Jesse has got so many sons. So they bring in and when they brought uh, 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 David out, he then anointed uh, 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 David. Then invite Jesse to sacrifice. Then, then invite Jesse to sacrifice and I will show you what you should do. You should anoint for me the one that I name. Go to verse 13. 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil. Okay? And anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord, well, what? The spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. From this, before this day. David does not tell us that he had killed Goliath. He had killed the bear. He had killed the lion. Those things happened after the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, what he, he took a horn and poured oil on his head and the spirit of the Lord came upon him. Are you saying that the spirit of God could not come upon him by saying the spirit of the Lord come upon you? It could. Now you can, but God commanded that anoint him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The power is not in there oil. The power is in the, the spirit of God. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? And Samuel arose and from that day who Penua David started to change. He was in the backside of the David uh, of the desert. Nobody knew uh, for him. His own father had forgotten about him. When he said call your sons they forgot he had another son. But when the anointing came 
kings were now requesting of him, can I see David? I want David to play for me. And he came from the backside of the desert to be in the palace of the king. And he became the king because it is the anointing that lifts people from the dust and to cause them to eat with princes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So I don't care where you are, how far down you are, it is going to take the anointing to move you, to move your family, to move your business, to move your life to where God wants you to be. It has taken the anointing for this church to come from the backside of the corner. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I still remember it, it was a time where we would fit in a garage for an all night. All of us, including the band with all the drums. I've got the pictures. We were in a small two lockup garage and the band is there and there was space even to dance. <laughs> and we would lock ourselves up. So when you see this, it is not some clever or some thinking. It is the what? The anointing. It is the what? The anointing. Am I talking to somebody? So it's to mark people. Let's go to Psalms 20, 23, verse 5. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. It's the anointing. So we believe in the anointing. And I always have a bottle of anointing oil in my house. I bought it from, I bought it from, from spa. What I only then did, I just took it to a service. Because Bishop Tudor once said, just bring your service and we'll pray for it. And, and sometimes you can actually bring your own oil. Just put it on the altar. Let it absorb the praise. Let it absorb the atmosphere in the house. Let it absorb. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you, are, are you getting what I'm saying? You can then take it and you then start when you are building. When, before you start building, you can anoint your stand. And say, I now anoint my stand. This building will not stop. Everything will be supplied. I am a finisher. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When your children are sick, you don't need me to come you can anoint your own kids when i was sick pastor dear i took that anointing oil we got a bottle of head for ages are you getting what i'm saying and she, she, and we are she anointed me are you hearing what i'm saying you're going to see in scripture that the anointing oil still works it's the mystery which still works in this new in the new testament but we we we, 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 we are damaged because we don't want to be seen with a, with a bottle we, we, because, uh, because people sold it. People, what, what? People, and you saw people and what? No, let them do whatever they do. But do not lose the value of spiritual mysteries because somebody abused it. Am I talking to somebody? So you can buy your own. It doesn't have to come from Nigeria. or you, they, Let it come from Spa. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But it helps you. Am I talking to somebody? You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That, that thing there, what's it called? Those English people, what, what, what is it called? That semicolon, it means that the next things that are coming are telling you how the table is prepared. It's the same statement. It's a continuation of thought. You anoint my head with oil. So when your head is anointed with oil, you've got victories. A tables are prepared in the presence of your enemies. So sometimes when you are facing situations and at work you are being accused for falsely and things like that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sometimes you need to anoint your head with oil. And sometimes you have to anoint yourself or you can come and say, Pastor, anoint me. And, but remember, it is not the oil. We have established that this is the Holy Spirit. It is an emblem of the release of the power of the Spirit of God. Is this making sense? I'm teaching good right here. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So what is the anointing? The anointing is a supernatural power for supernatural assignments. So when you want super, supernatural things to happen, things that you cannot explain and you want things to move, that's why you also see that in the world of the enemy, they do not, they have not, they don't start things by themselves. They copy the kingdom. 
And then they don't want us in the kingdom to use it while they are using it. When somebody wants people to, 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 to buy in their shop, what do they do? They go to Seguru and Seguru gives them something. What are they giving them? An anointing. And then they come to you. Don't use the anointing. Yet they themselves are using anointings. And you start to wonder why. No. Anointing for anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. So they go, they travel in the middle of the night and do all those things. If they were not consulting those Sekurus and Sangomas, they would be out of business. The Sangomas are increasing. Why? Because they are giving them anointings. And you, serving the living God, the one with the true, most powerful anointing ever, you don't know about it. You don't use it. You don't engage it. And you wonder why we are at the backside. The white garment people have got more money than us. Why? Because they use anointings. A small guy will just come. Ba, ba, ba. 20 makombi. Ma 30 makombi. Well, how is that happening? Anointing. Whenever you see something that you cannot explain by signs, remember it is Anointing is like heavenly electric power. You must be plugged to it. Number three, let's go to James 4, verse 14. Am I, am I speaking good here? Is this helping somebody? James 5, verse 14. 14. James 5, verse 14. Is anyone, is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. The word elders there means pastors. And let them pray over him. Anointing him with what? Anointing with what? In the what? In the name of the Lord. Now, you, you need to follow that scripture. If you are sick, you are the one that is supposed to call me. It's not me. We're supposed to call you. If you are sick, or not sickness, when I was ill and it was refusing to go, I called the bishop. I said, Bishop, I'm a level. Then Bishop said, This is a satanic. Imagine if I had died in a COVID, what would have happened to this church at that time? Who is them to be still be here? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let's be honest. So it was a demonic attack. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But we are now putting structures so that the church will not depend on me. It will, be, it, will, it, will, it will perpetuate. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hello? But, so, so Bishop said, this is a demonic attack. And from the day he prayed for me and we anointed with the oil, I started to recover. Mr. and Mrs. Gurupir, you know when your wife was ill in ICU, we came with oil and we anointed. She didn't even know. You may not know what. We were anointing you with oil. That same oil that healed me, that was prayed for by Bishop. That's the one that I brought. And we're anointing you. And we did not do it once. We, do it, we, we did it until you came out. Your relatives were there would put them out and we, 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 we would anoint. <laughs> we are too, we are too, we are too quiet for the kind of warfare that is fighting us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is a spiritual battle, guys. Your life, your future, your children is a spiritual battle. And some of you, you have never anointed your kids. You just send them there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And you wonder then that your kid will start to some homosexual and some lesbian. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You need to anoint that when they come, they disperse by themselves. The anointing. Say the anointing. the anointing. So you anoint with oil. So in the New Testament, the anointing is, is there. We can pray for you. 
but we can also anoint you with oil and you will get healed. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm preaching to myself, Pastor D. Exodus 40, verse 9. Exodus 40, verse 9. And you shall take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all that is in it and you shall hallow it and, it, and all its utensils, they shall be holy. Remember when we came to this place, the first service we had here, who did we call? Bishop Tudor. What did Bishop Tudor do? Anoint this place with oil. Anointed. Poured water. Poured oil. Spoke and say, you! Walls, respond! Are you hearing what I'm saying? Respond, expand! Are you hearing what I'm saying? Somebody. There is a spiritual secret and a mystery in the anointing oil. That's why the devil wanted to mess it up, abuse it, so that we reject it and so that now, in this 2020s, nobody wants to talk about it and we suffer. And yet, Iwo, Varuku sends such anointing. Manja, we will not let it. So you can anoint so the building that we are going to build, we are anointed. The land that we are going to buy, we are going to anoint it. You, are, you don't even know what happened uh, on, on, on the structure where you are building. Maybe some rituals were done 400 years ago. Maybe somebody was killed there. And the blood is still crying. So you come with the anointing. This is a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual act. Am I talking here? Am I talking here? The devil is in trouble, chairman. Yeah. Isaiah 10, verse 24. Uh, uh, Isaiah 10, verse 27. Am I helping somebody here? Yeah. Who is glad to be in church today? Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So, so, so you don't have to wait for us to say we are distributing. We, in this church, we don't distribute anointing oils. You buy your own. Because I don't want to say, Pastor, hey, Vakasu, I don't say, no, no. And I don't tell you, what is up on about during prayer, during, 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 during that all night that we are doing, put it here. Let it absorb the presence of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Am I talking to somebody? And it shall come to pass in that day. And I want to say that that day has arrived. That day is today. We are living in that day that his burden will be taken away from, the sh from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when we say we want to anoint you, we are not just doing some funny. We are not trying to be funny. Listen to me. Christianity is not science. Christianity is spiritual. There are some spiritual things which cannot be explained by science. Listen, my friend, I have got, I've got 15 points at A level. I did chemistry. I did biology. I did maths. I am a brilliant mind. But there are certain things that I cannot explain. And I don't even want to explain them because these are spiritual things. They can only be explained by spiritual things only. Maths cannot tell you how Jesus Christ, how his blood which was said more than 2,000 years ago, cleanses me today. Tell me a mathematic formula that will give you the answer to that. It can't. So if you are too scientific, then you cannot be spiritual. In the world of the spirit, you believe, but things happen. I would rather be a fool and believe spiritual things. They are destroyed because of the anointing. This morning, I got a call from your daughter, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mutewa, Lisa, who is in, du in Dubai. She was failing to get, she had been in Dubai for about a month, failing to get a job, and she had a dream. And in that dream, she said she had a snake which came and beat her hand. And when it beat her hand, the hand became very painful. It was painful from that dream. Tell me what myths and the signs and the geography and accounts can account that you can dream a, 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 a snake biting you and tomorrow you wake up with pain. So the mother came to us and said, this is what is happening. 
And last week, we prayed. We said, we are going to anoint you. Which hand did she get beaten? And we took the anointing well. Anointed the mother here in Zimbabwe. Right here in church, in our office there. And said, from today, we cancel the agenda and silence the voice of the enemy. We release the power of the Holy Ghost. Because it is not the oil, it's an it's an embodiment. It's, 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 it's a resemblance to help us to believe. But the power is the power of the what? Of the Holy Ghost. And the following day, she had been going for, 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 for uh, interviews and she could not get a job. And we, after we prayed, the following day, she got a job. The following day, the pen ceased. The power of the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tell me what myths, what signs will do that for you. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. But the power of the anointing will do that. Because it is got the power to break what? Yokes. To break necks. To break limitations. Are you, when you feel limited, when you feel as if you have, you have been stuck, you can't move, you can't grow, your salary cannot break a certain, a certain thing, you need the anointing. <laughs> Buy your own anointing, put it here, put a demand and say, Pastor, pray for me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We have to push certain things. This hundredfold is not coming. Are you hearing? It's not by might or by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say the anointing. When Mary was about to get uh, to conceive Jesus, the, the Gabriel came and he said, and he said, You shall conceive without knowing a man. And she said, How will this be? And he said, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you. What is that? The anointing. And it will make it happen. Because the Spirit of God specializes in making the impossible things possible. Is there anything impossible in your life? Then it is the work of the Spirit of God, of the anointing. And sometimes all you need to do is to get an anointing. Get anointed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Get anointed. Sometimes we just pray this anointing and demons will come out. We don't, we don't do that for, for the dignity of people. We, we, we don't do all that crazy here. But in our office down there, we cast out devils. And people live free by the power of the anointing. We're not joking. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Hello? Is this helping somebody in this church? Yes. Hebrews 1 verse 9. Hebrews 1 verse 9. I'm telling you the power of the anointing, what the anointing will do in your life. One of the things which is difficult in this world is having joy. This, this world is cruel. Some of, some of you people you have gone through hit us and uh, evil things. We know it. Ac falsely accused. You know, your relatives doing all kinds of things want you to be destroyed. One of my daughters here when, 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 when she was traveling, she was traveling, and they were in, the, in their car, and one of, 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 of the person in that, in that car started to see people in front of the car. And the person started to scream and to go wild and ballistic. And are you hearing what I'm saying? How do you, how do you explain that? Tell me some mathematics and accounts that will tell you, could you know say, And then you tell me that we should just be a, 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 listen, I am a wisdom person. But I also believe in the power of God. And in this church we believe in the balance. When power is needed, we use power. Where wisdom is needed, we use wisdom. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you with the oil. God has anointed you with what? With the oil of gladness more than your companions. Sakufara is an anointing. 
there's, there's like you need to be anointed. Please, I need an, an anointing. I need to be anointed. Why? Go to Romans 14, verse 17. There's so much psychological trauma. So many, so many broken relationships. So many stepping at the back. So many people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The only way you can be free from that, you need the anointing. For the kingdom of God is not eating or drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy. Where? In the Holy Ghost. And wherever the Holy Ghost is, is the, the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You need, so for you, so I want to go to heaven, I'm going to go No, the anointing. As you know, it's really right, but we don't going to joy because we don't, our joy is not based on the things that are outside. Our joy is based on what is happening in the inside. Let's go to Esther. Esther 2, verse 12. I'm about to finish. But I am hoping that I'm bringing some common, some spiritual sense and some spiritual wisdom to this church. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Go and buy your own oil. Put it on the altar. Fast. Pray. Sing. And start anointing things that have been stubborn in your own life. And when you have done it by yourself and it's not moving, get somebody with more authority. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we do. We are not just progressing, guys. It's not luck. It's the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And there is an anointing in this house. There's an anointing. There's an anointing for progress. You cannot come to this church and remain at the same place. You have to move. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 3 verse 3. Root 3 verse 3. Therefore wash yourself and anoint yourself and put on your best garment and go down to the threshing floor. But do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. One of the things that we see is that the anointing will beautify you and makes you ready for the next level. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when we are singing, I'm not just singing because I love the tune. I am singing because I want the anointing. Because I understand when the anointing is on me, I am unstoppable. You can't go against an anointed man. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm too dangerous for you to touch. That's why he said, do not touch my anointed. Are you anointed? Are you here? And do my prophets know, I am the one who is anointed. You also, you are the one that is anointed. If you listen, if you read that verse which says, do not do my prophets no harm, it's talking about how nations opened up for Israel, not for Moses. It was the whole of the Israel. You are the one that is Arkunzi. You do not do my, my prophet. You are the one that is anointed. You are the one that must not be harmed. So in the marketplace, you must not be harmed. So get the anointing. Put the anointing on the altar. Take it to your little shop. Take it to your little whatever. Take it to your little seat. Anoint it. Act as if you are crazy. Anoint it and say, I am releasing anointing in this shop. And touch all those things. I'm releasing. But do in the name of Jesus. Let it attract customers. You are too weak for the battle that you are fighting. You are too sober. You want to play it nice. The devil doesn't play nice. The devil is a dirty devil. He plays dead. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And you have to rise to the occasion. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? So I now declare, let a fresh anointing come in your life. Let a fresh touch of the Holy Ghost come in your life in the name of Jesus. 
I now pray let the anointing of the Holy Ghost break all limitations that have limited you till this day every stubborn thing in the name of Jesus may the anointing of the Holy Ghost break it in the name of Jesus say I am victorious come on let's stand let's stand let's stand say I am victorious by the power of the Holy Ghost say I receive a fresh infilling of the anointing by the Holy Ghost say I am filled with joy sadness bitterness you are broken in my life in the name of Jesus disease you are broken in my life I decree and declare that by the anointing of the Holy Ghost health is in my body healing is in my body in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on just take one minute speak to the Holy Ghost and say Holy Ghost I need you Spirit of the living God I need you thank you for your anointing thank you for uh, your anointing thank you for your ability coming on me thank you for making me my, my life a supernatural life an uncommon life thank you for making this ministry an uncommon ministry because of the power of the Holy Ghost let your people be set free let your people be given speed by the Holy Ghost let wealth and riches come into this house let lands houses come up buildings, farms in the name of Jesus, inheritances lost things in the name of Jesus, opportunities, promotions by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost, maybe you're, you're here you're saying pastor, I do not know Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior for you to be a partaker of this anointing you need to be in the house you need Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, is there anybody who is here we're saying, Pastor, I do not know Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. And today, I want to receive him. We want to pray with you before we close this uh, meeting and close this broadcast. Is there anybody in the house we saying, I want to receive Jesus? If you are here, please lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. All of us, we had a day that we received Jesus. Is there somebody who wants to lift up, uh, wants to receive Jesus this morning? Going once. Uh, do I have a hand? I've got a hand right there. I've got a hand. Do I have a hand this time? Anybody who brought him, please just come together so that he doesn't feel ashamed. Let him come down. Let him come down. Hallelujah. Is there anybody else who is saying, Pastor, I want to receive Jesus. I want to receive Jesus. And maybe you received Jesus and you went back, but you are saying, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. You were saved, but you went back, but you are saying, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. Come, 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 come hallelujah yes thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much amen and amen thank you so much for coming we want to pray with our brothers and sisters don't feel ashamed god all these people at one time they also came to the front so we want us to pray and i want you to take this prayer as yours church shall we shall we pray just pray it as yours and be sincere in jesus mighty name say father in the name of jesus i come to you this afternoon i ask you to be the lord of my life save me from my sins wash me with your blood i believe that jesus christ came he died on the cross was buried on the third day rose from the dead and because of that i know that i am saved satan i reject you in the name of jesus i am no longer yours in Jesus name I now belong to God in Jesus mighty name hallelujah amen and amen the Bible says if you pray that prayer you are saved but I want you just to kneel I want to anoint you with oil and just release a fresh start in your life just just kneel all of you father just kneel for amen. father in the name of Jesus I anoint her and I declare let there be a fresh start every power of the enemy let it be broken every covenant with the enemy let it be broken with the power of this anointing in the name of jesus let your life turn around let it be obvious every situation which was stalling and not moving i say from today 
let the anointing of the Holy Ghost move it in Jesus mighty name I anoint you in the name of Jesus and I break every power of the enemy every covenant that were made that you made I break them now I say you are free in the name of Jesus free from sickness free from poverty free from stagnation from today your life changes may you see speed acceleration in Jesus mighty name in Jesus name and the church says amen and amen please stand we help them to stand hallelujah please turn around one of our deacons will be with you and talk to you right there hallelujah amen and amen amen and amen did you receive the word today did you receive the word today are you hearing what i'm saying the anointing of the holy ghost is in this place hallelujah let's take advantage of the arsenal and the things that the kingdom of god has equipped us with are you hearing what i'm saying don't wait for me to call you for anointing you put a demand on the anointing hunt for it you have your own oil are you, the next time when we're having all night put your basket uh, make sure nobody steals it put your name there so that you, you it, while we are singing while we are praying it's a soaking and you take it home and you start anoint be, ag be an aggressive anointer are you hearing what I'm saying ask my kids I anoint them before they go to school I anoint them recently all of the boys were at the top of their class and they were, and, and they were saying and Mukundi was, and who I guess was talking Mukundi said I think those prayers worked <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on lift up your hand let me bless you father I now release a blessing an anointing over any situation that your children will face and an, and, and, and an anointing over the economic situation of Zimbabwe you shall not be drowned you shall be the head you shall be on top all things will work for you you will not suffer you will not die you will not be involved in an accident i bless you you are becoming a blessing that the lord has called you to be may god bless you we love you in jesus mighty name amen